Hello, I'm Ben from Bosch and today I want to show you the all-new GTC 600C professional thermal camera. For our already existing tool, the GTC 400C, we received a lot of great user feedback and we used this to develop an even better tool for you to extend our product range. And in this video, we're going to show you a short comparison of these two tools, uh, the main technical improvements of the GTC 600C over the already existing tool, uh, the new applications that are enabled by this, and then in the end show you how to quickly get started with your new tool. Now let's compare the new GTC 600C to the already existing GTC 400C. So the main technical improvements are an increased infrared resolution, an increased thermal measuring range, and also an improved accuracy. With respect to the resolution, while the GTC 400C uh, offers 19,200 infrared pixels, we've more than doubled this resolution to 49,152 infrared pixels for the GTC 600C. In order to demonstrate the improved uh, resolution on the GTC 600C, we're going to take a thermal image of this heated mat with both of the cameras and then have a quick look at the difference. Start with the GTC 400C. So I'm taking an image. And I'll repeat this with the GTC 600C. And now on both tools, we can go into the gallery view and have a quick look. Go to full screen view and now on the right hand side you can see the image taken with the GTC 600C which shows more details. You can see these loops individually uh, and a little bit more sharply defined edges compared to the image on the left which is, was taken by the GTC 400C which just appears a little bit more blurry. And you can also see the difference, the slight difference in field of view. Earlier today I also took a different picture, so I'm going to change to this. And again, on the right hand side you can see the image taken with the GTC 600C and it shows more sharply defined edges. And on the top left you can see a couple of cold spots that just aren't really properly visible in the lower resolution image taken with the GTC 400C. In addition to improving the resolution, we've also increased the measuring range. So while the existing GTC 400C can measure temperatures from minus 10 degrees Celsius up to 400 degrees Celsius, the new GTC 600C measures temperatures from up to 600 degrees Celsius all the way down to a chilly minus 20 degrees Celsius. And as I mentioned before, the accuracy has also been improved. All in all, this makes the GTC 600C the advanced tool in our product range. And all of these improvements also enable new application areas, which we're going to talk about later in the video. Finally, documentation-wise, the GTC 400C already offers some intelligent features for documenting your work. And there, also with the GTC 600C, we have added some new features, which I'm going to talk about next. As far as documentation is concerned, the new tool offers a few improvements regarding setting the emissivity values, uh, viewing your thermal images in the gallery, and it also offers the opportunity to add voice notes so that you can easily add information to your thermal images. Now I'm going to show you how to set the emissivity value for measurement on the GTC 600C. So emissivity is the ability of a material to radiate heat. So it's important to set the emissivity value to the value of the material you're actually measuring in order to get an accurate result. Changing the emissivity value is easy. We just go on the function button to the main menu and then we're in the measurement menu where you can see that there are five presets that you can assign yourself. 
um, this makes it very convenient to access materials that you frequently encounter. So let's say we want to change the material to paint, which is our fourth preset. We go onto the home button, the emissivity value has changed and we can start measuring uh, paint surface straight away. The other option we have is to go back into the measurement menu and change the preset. So here we've got uh, two options. First of all, we can go onto the material, press on the right button, and then the tool brings us to a material catalog where we've got more than 30 materials already stored with emissivity values, so you don't have to look them up yourself. The other option is to set the emissivity directly yourself, which you can do by going to emissivity and then pressing the arrow buttons and the material will say user defined and you've got your own emissivity value. And the last point is the reflected temperature. This is the radiation that's uh, not being emitted by the object being measured itself, but being reflected. And this is often um, related to the ambient temperature. The next feature I want to show you is the gallery feature. To go to the gallery, you press this button and then you can see a thumbnail of all of the pictures that you've recorded, the thermal images. And with the left and right buttons, you can cycle through these images. And if you want to see an image in more detail, uh, first of all, you see the thumbnail. Pressing the up button brings you to the full screen view where you can see the full screen thermal image. And pressing up again gives you the corresponding visual photograph so that you can see which object you've actually recorded. A new documentation feature that we've added to the GTC 600C is the ability to add voice notes of up to 30 seconds to each of your thermal images. And this allows you to easily include additional information without putting down the tool. So imagine you're an electrician who has to maintain more than 500 switching cabinets within a building then you might want to add the location of each of your measurements uh, quickly just by speaking it into the, into the tool. And now I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, in order to record a voice note, you first navigate to the image you want to annotate in the gallery view. So here I've chosen this picture of a window. And then you can see at the bottom that there's an icon for recording associated with the function key. So to start recording, I press function window, top floor, west side. And now you saw the progress bar at the bottom showing the progress and the remaining time of the recording. And now there's a voice note on this image which you can see with this blue icon here. And to play back the voice note, we simply press the function key again. Window, top floor, west side. So you see how easy it is to add information to your images using the voice note feature. Now let's talk about the connectivity features of the GTC 600C. Once you've taken all of your thermal measurements, uh, you can download them in order to post-process the images and create reports and uh, forward these to your colleagues and customers. And there are two main ways to do this. First of all, you can use the Bosch Thermal app on your smart device and connect it to the GTC using Wi-Fi. Or you can use the GTC transfer software on your PC and connect it to the GTC 600C using the device's USB-C connection. Now I'm going to show you how to connect your smart device with the Bosch Thermal app to the GTC 600C using its Wi-Fi connection. In order to connect the smart device to the GTC 600C, we're going to go into the Bosch Thermal app. Here you can see the home screen, um, where first of all we'll go on the plus button to create a new project. We'll just use the default name and go on create. Now for this project you can see you can add a picture, some client information, some notes, etc. But uh, we're going to go right to thermal images because we want to download the thermal images from our camera. Now we go on plus to start the download process, but now the app will remind us that we have to connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot of our device first. Now on the tool we have to 
activate the Wi-Fi function by going on the function key, going to the main menu, then down to Wi-Fi and turning Wi-Fi on. And then on the screen of the tool, you can see the Wi-Fi key that we need to use to connect from the smart device. So on the smartphone, we'll go on open Wi-Fi settings. On Android, this will bring you directly to the Wi-Fi settings. On Apple devices, it'll bring you to the app settings and you have to go one step back to get to the Wi-Fi settings. Here we can see the Bosch GTC 600C network right at the top, so we're going to connect to this. And then we will enter the password that we've just seen on the screen. Now you can see that we're connected from the smart device to the GTC 600C. Now we're going to go back to our app. And in the thermal images view, we can go on plus again to start the download. You can see it's downloading the 15 images on our camera. And uh, if you set up the app correspondingly, it's also going to save these to your gallery on your phone. So you'll have the, them uh, available on your phone as well as on the camera. Now you can see all the thumbnails of the downloaded images and we can select those that we would like to add to our project by tapping import. Now we've got these two images in our project and if we want to further edit them, we can tap on the corresponding thumbnail. Now once your image is loaded, you can see the overlay and change the transparency here with the slider at the bottom between the thermal image view and the real image view. And at the top, you can also add some notes or image features to add additional information to your image. And once you're satisfied, you can go back and see the project overview again. And the icon at the top right can be used to send all of these images to your colleague, for example, via email. So you see it gets really easy to maintain all of your images using the Bosch Thermal app. As mentioned before, the second way to get your measurements from the GTC 600C is downloading them onto your PC and using the GTC transfer software. To connect to your PC, you can use the USB-C connection. The port can be seen here. Once you've downloaded your images uh, and all the included information, you can, for example, listen to the voice notes again, uh, write down the information you collected there, and make some final adjustments to your infrared images. And then, whether you're using the GTC transfer software on your PC or the app on your smart device, you can uh, generate reports of your measurements and send them either as a PDF or as a JPEG uh, to your colleagues and customers via email. Now let's talk about the functions of the GTC 600C. First, I'm going to show you the top layer functions which you can access from the home screen, and then I'll show you some more special functions. In order to demonstrate the basic functions of the camera, we're recording a thermal image here of the heating mat again. And we can see the home screen with the full uh, thermographic image. And here on this home screen, there are a couple of first layer functions that we can access directly by pressing the arrow keys. So the first function is uh, that we can access with the right and left arrow keys is cycling through the color palette. So we've got a choice of different color palettes uh, that we can use to highlight different features of our image of interest. And uh, this uh, hold co hot cold palette is new in the GTC 600C. The second basic function that we can access using the up down arrows is changing from the full image uh, thermal view to a picture-in-picture picture view, where we can see the photographic image on the outside for more context. Pressing up again gives us a smaller picture-in-picture picture view. And if we go up again, then we can see uh, a combined view where the thermal image is superimposed on top of the photograph. 
Then we'll go back to the full view. Uh, another feature is uh, this scale locking button. You can see that at the moment the scale is all constantly being adjusted to cover the complete temperature range in the image. But in case you want to compare different features, for example, different radiators in the same room, uh, and want the same color to be associated with the same temperature uh, over different images, then you can just press this button. You can see that the color scale is locked and the lower and upper end of the scale aren't changing. Now, for the more specific functions, we can press the function key. And there we can see that at the moment we are in automatic mode. Going to the left brings us to the heat detector mode, where we see only the hottest areas of the image superimposed in uh, thermal on top of the photograph. And we can change with the up-down arrow keys how much of the hottest areas is counted into this. Similarly, there's a cold detector mode where we basically have the same function only for the coldest areas of the image. And finally, going to manual mode and pressing the function key again, there we can manually set the limits of our temperature scale to change what temperatures we are measuring and what the image looks like in the end. Now let's go back to automatic mode by going to the left and pressing the function key again. And you can see here in the middle, there's a center point which shows the temperature uh, right in the center of the image. But in addition, uh, if we want a second way to find hot and cold areas, we can go back onto the function key, press this button to go to the main menu, go to display settings, and then you can see in addition to the center spot, there's also a red hot spot that I'm going to activate by turning it on, a blue cold spot that I'll turn on here, and an avid average temperature display, which I'll also turn on. Now if I go back to the home screen, I can see that I've still got the center spot with its temperature, but now there's also a red spot showing the hottest spot in the image and its temperature. And down here in the left, dancing around, is the blue spot which tracks the lowest temperature. And up here on the left, you can see uh, an indication of the average temperature over the whole image. And this comprises the basic measurement functions of the device. Now let's talk about the robust design of our GTC600C. It has IP54 dust and water protection, which is already an improvement over the IP53 rating of the GTC400C. And due to the protective rubber caging here, you can see at the front and back, it can also withstand being dropped from considerable heights. So you can safely use this tool in harsh conditions. You don't have to worry about rain. It can be used outdoors. You can, don't have to worry about dust or dirt. And you don't have to worry about it getting damaged during transport. So it's a really robust tool. And if you want to find out more about the robustness of our tools in general, you can check out our durability page, for which there's a link in the video description. Now with all of these uh, new features and benefits, the GTC 600C opens up a whole range of applications. And in traditional trades, for example for window installers, um, you can search for drafts or thermal bridges at a larger distance because you've got a higher resolution. And an electrician, for example, looking for um, hotspots in a switching cabinet will also benefit from the higher resolution uh, because you can see finer details in your thermal image. But apart from these traditional trades, the tool is also really useful, for example, for car mechanics to look for hotspots, uh, for farmers to check their machinery, for beekeepers to check the um, temperature of their beehives, or in industry to look at hot parts or uh, the fill, tank, uh, fill level of tanks. 
Um, more information about the application range served by this tool can be found on our Thermo page, which is also accessible with a link in the video description. And now I'm going to show you how to get started with your tool. Now let's take a look inside the box. We'll open the case and then we see here the tool, the battery pack, and then a USB cable, a quick start guide, and the charger. Uh, the operating instructions are underneath the tool. To get started, we simply need our tool and our battery pack. We close the case again. And then we first insert the 12 volt lithium ion battery that you also know from our other 12 volt tools into the camera. This battery that's included will provide a superior runtime of roughly six hours on this tool. To switch the tool on, we press this red power button. Then we have to take care to open the dust cover at the front, which is protecting the imaging lenses. Now, in principle, we can already start our thermal imaging. It'll take a second for the sensors to calibrate. So I'll show you uh, the trigger function first. This trigger button can be used to freeze the image once you've acquired the thermal image you actually want to take a picture of. So let's do this now. I'll press the trigger and then the screen says hold, so the image is frozen and this gives us to the opportunity to uh, use the other functions we've already seen, like for example changing the color palette or going into overlay mode or picture in picture. And once we're satisfied with our thermal image, also noting that we chose the correct emissivity value. We can save this with one press of this button. And now this image is stored on the camera. It'll store up to 600 images like this. To continue thermal imaging, we simply press, press the trigger button again, and then we can see the live thermal image. So you can see it's really easy to get started with your thermal imaging using the GTC 600C. To sum up, the GTC 600C professional thermal camera can measure at larger temperature ranges with an increased resolution and higher accuracy. You can safely use this tool outdoors and with its documentation features such as voice note, it makes it easier than ever to add additional information to your thermal images. All of these improvements also open up a wider range of applications. So all in all, this is the perfect thermal camera for the demanding craftsman. So thanks for watching and now enjoy your tool.